Hey guys, it is me, Hypersoic, and welcome to Last on Earth Survival. So we've gotten a new update, there's that transport hub location, we have drones, and yeah, today we're gonna be clearing that transport hub location, and it looks like, at least from the few times that I've cleared it, it looks like it's a very nice place, because you can get here lots of resources, you can get there lots of resources, you can get guns if you want to get, you can get the settlement resources, so that place is awesome, but before we begin, and before we do all of that stuff, I have something really interesting to show you, ladies and gentlemen, so maybe Make sure to check out our latest video on this uh, new survival game that I've played. It's Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. It's a survival game like no other I've seen. You can find it on the channel. A link is going to be down in the description. So if you're interested in other games, make sure to check that stuff out because I think it's a pretty fun game and I'd love to do more videos on that. You play here as a monkey and uh, yeah, you have to evolve as species. So make sure to check that stuff out and we are going to go back to the... To progressing here in this game. So for those who don't know, we have already crafted here a drone and uh, yeah, so far drone is like 50-50. It does about 800 damage, at least this drone with these kind of configurations. It does about 800 damage as it has four charges and per charge the drone can do can do from around from 160 to 200 damage. Again, it depends on the zombie, etc, etc, but roughly speaking this drone can do 800 damage every 12 hours. So, I mean, think for yourself if it's good or bad. It's like 50-50 in my opinion. Could be maybe better, but once again, these are just basic mods. Maybe later on we can get better mods and uh, it'll do a bit more damage because you can, it, this drone can also heal you. So there's that. Also today we're gonna do lots of unboxings here of these mercenaries because as I said last time I requested developers to send me some mercenary contracts and other stuff and I still haven't opened everything here so we're gonna be opening that stuff up because we desperately need to progress in that settlement as uh, yeah now we need to assemble that forklift and to assemble the forklift we need to get some iron rods or whatever they're called and ladies and gentlemen there is a sneak peek for, from the future video and uh, yeah, we have gotten some of the iron rods. Oh, these iron rods are actually in the settlement. Say, so, let's go to the settlement. Maybe let's start unboxing those things here right now. Maybe, or maybe we should do a raid because the raid is also ready. Maybe let's do a raid and then we'll unbox some of the things. And uh, yeah, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pin comments down below. There are gonna be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And yeah, welcome to those that are here. Welcome, welcome everybody. Glad to see all of you here. First of all, we gotta get some daily loot. Let's go to expeditions. Let's get that daily loot. We'll get even more of these mercenary tags. We'll get some more screws and some other stuff. I think today we might progress in these expeditions. And uh, yeah, also there are some other rumors that I've heard. Once you assemble that third tower, you actually get to see a new upcoming location, which is the suburbs. So I've never been there. Uh, I mean, nobody's ever been to the suburbs in this game as that thing is not out yet. So yeah, I've crafted guys here another pallet and I've gotten here some iron frames. I've gotten some of these copper billets and I've gotten six of these iron rods. So yeah, the transport hub is a pretty cool place. I need more of these uh, iron rods to finish up uh, that tower. And I also need to get some more antennas. Do we have any antennas here? I might have actually one of them. Oh, we already have seven antennas. That's great. So I don't even have to go to that transport. Ex excuse me, not the transport, but whatever that place is great, called the uh, abandoned factory, right? We don't really have to go to that abandoned factory to do anything there. Okay, I might still be clearing that abandoned factory to get more antennas because I think we might need those antennas for something else. But yeah, maybe even today we will assemble that tower and we will unlock the suburbs. Hmm, we won't be able to go there because it's still not there, but, but yeah. It's like they added second permanent location in the north. It's called suburbs. First of all, it's not a new permanent location because you can't access it. So you don't know nothing about that new location. So no need to say that they added a new permanent location. We don't know if it's permanent. We don't know if it's ever coming to the game. It's just there. We also have the oil rig. Doesn't mean that it's a new permanent location. You're not going to call, call the oil rig a new permanent location but yeah i see what you mean that's what we were literally talking about a few minutes ago also ladies and gentlemen let's talk to the raiders and let's get ready for the first raid of the day so let's complete all of these tasks let's get some hatchets and let's go this new update is really good but some people start calling it pay to win it's really good i don't know i mean it is pretty hard to unlock the things. It is not 
as easy as going to Bunker Alpha to unlock that location, but... Yeah, I wouldn't say that it's very pay-to-win. It's... It is definitely doable. We have more pay-to-win things. <coughs> ATV. <coughs> True friend doggo. But it's it's all right. In my opinion, it's a pretty nice update. I kind of like it. But I quickly want to go here and... Uh, the suburbs is for act three maybe i don't know i mean we'll have to wait and see who knows what's gonna happen it says that the suburbs require the boat here but okay maybe i mean everything is possible we'll just have to wait and see we will have to absolutely wait and see okay we've crafted some of these hatchets let's drop that stuff down here and let's get ready I don't even know why I'm bringing this drone. Like, it's seriously annoying. It is it is worse than the true friend doggo. That's it. I said it. I can't believe I said this, but I said it. The, it's worse than the true friend dog. First of all, it takes a slot in your inventory. Second of all, it doesn't really do that much damage. And third of all, it takes a slot in your inventory. And by the way, did I tell you that it takes your extra pocket? I might have not said that. But it also takes your extra pocket. So it's kind of crazy. And almost forgot to mention that it takes an extra pocket. So yeah, there's that. Wait, am I really gonna take a drone on a raid? I'm kind of curious if it does noise. Let's test this out. Let's get this drone on a raid and let's see if it does any noise. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I'm gonna get probably one C4. That should be enough. If we need more, we should have some C4s in the inbox. There's that. There are seven different crates to open by codes. A, I, D, C, Y, F, B, D, P, okay, blah, blah, blah. Best crates are C, Y, F, settlement items. I don't really know what crates I've opened up to get the settlement items, like those iron rods, but I have gotten something. There are also some crates that give you literal police department cards. You can get purple cards, which is kind of cool. I think he said it takes an extra pocket slot. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but it might take an extra pocket slot. Kill the big one with the drone. You can't kill the big one with the drone. But yeah, it is what it is. Bob Grom. Let's see what this raid is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check it out. Let's do a little bit of research. I'll do you raid Bob Grom. So that's how you do research. I think I've mentioned this many times already, but for those who do not know, that's how you do research on raids. You go on YouTube, you type whatever base you want to raid, and uh, hopefully you'll find a video on it. Pretty simple, in it, mate? Okay, so this base is kind of... Kind of tricky, weird. I don't know if I like it. It is weird. We got to go through here and then straight and then, whoa. Okay, it's a very weird base, guys. So we need to do a little bit more research than usual. Okay, let's see. Okay, whoa, whoa. Right, well, we'll see. It'll be enough research. I'm not gonna spend here much more time. I just kind of need to know how to enter this base and then we'll go on from that. There we go, ladies and gents. That should be enough. Maybe we need two C4s for this raid. I'm not sure, but we'll see. A messy base. Yes, indeed, it is pretty messy. But at least it's not Ronaldo, am I right? Ha! Got him! Got him! But Sayak, what about Mbappe? Guys, we're doing a raid here. Right. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, let's leave the chopper. I can't leave the chopper here. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see what we got here. I 
think I'm gonna drop a C4. I'm just not sure if I have to drop it here or there. <sighs> I've just done enough research, but apparently that wasn't enough. Uh, I don't think it really matters where I place a C4. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I don't care about it. There we go. Let's place a C4 over here. And let's hop for the first raid, ladies and gents. Then I'm gonna place another C4 here. Please tell me. I won't mess it up. Because I don't want to mess it up. I've done some research, and if that's not enough research, then I don't know what I can do. Looks like a pretty decent raid, yes. It does look up like a pretty decent raid. There we go. Now we're going to deal with some more of these fast fighters. So sadly, we've already done here lots of noise. But it do be... Oh, wait. I think we can actually open up this wall. And we'll be able to kind of trick the big one or whatever you want to call it. Because check this out. We can go... Oh, no. I can't go through here. The chest is... Unless I can go through the other side. Yes, I can go through this side and check this out. Nobody can come here. So it should be a pretty okay raid. Bloody lovely. How about I open this stuff up over here? All right, we got some more chests. And it looks like the game kind of started lagging. So that means another wave of zombies has spawned. So we got to be careful. We will get them. We will get them. We got to be careful... I don't know why I said we gotta be careful, because it doesn't really matter. They can't teleport here anyways. When the big one spawns, we gotta be careful, because the big one can't teleport inside of the base. The new location is easy, better than Bunker Bravo, easily. It is a lot easier than Bunker Bravo. It's not even comparable, like... I could even go as far as saying that the new location is easier than the fourth floor of Bunker Alpha. It's probably easier than Bunker Alpha, maybe like fourth floor Bunker Alpha? Easier than probably than the fourth floor bunker alpha. I actually want to make a poll here. I don't even know why. I just actually thought about it. Is transport hub easier easier than fourth floor in bunker alpha? Yes, it's easier. Yes, transport hub is easier. Easier or at least slash same, easier, same. No, it's harder. Uh, I have no idea. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is a poll and make sure to participate. We did it. Yes, it's easier. No, it's easier. I'm not going to say that it's extremely easy. I'm not going to say that, oh, wow, you can clear that place with a crowbar. But, I mean, you can't clear the fourth floor with a crowbar either. So, it's it's a decent place. What I'm trying to say here is that it's not that hard. Obviously, there's that miner. And if you can't wall trick, it's going to be kind of tough to deal with that miner. And who knows what they'll do to that miner in the future updates. Because I can almost bet they'll probably do something to him. I guess. Okay, we've got a little bit of uh, loot here and another wave of zombies has spawned. So, wait, there, do we have spike traps around this base? I need to see if we got any spike traps. Then I can die on these spike traps and bring some more loot back to the base. Butcher seems doable. I don't even know the butcher. I haven't even seen the butcher. Okay, let's get the drone. Let's see if it does any noise. Okay, it doesn't do any noise. It still does only 18 damage, so it doesn't really matter about their defense. It doesn't do 18 damage to the big one and to zombies that have more defense. That is interesting. Okay, what about this? Oh, it can throw something. Wait, I've never... Oh, and you can tell it to stay here. You can tell this drone to stay. They have this kind of ability. Did you see that? Like, there was that red thing walking everywhere on the screen, and you can tell the drone where to stay. I think it's kind of cool. They should definitely implement some other items in the game like that. Like, it's almost the same way as we throw a grenade. I think we should have more items like that where we can control it. So that'd be cool. I don't know. So, yeah. I'm not going to say that that new location is extremely easy, but it's definitely something interesting. And what I like about that place the most probably is that just not stupid mindless... Uh, gun spam, which 
Maybe there's nothing wrong with that, but most of the locations is ju are just about gun spam. Like, for example, Bunker Bravo. Like, there is no strategy, just, like, gun spam it. Same thing with the laboratory, just gun spam. So I'm kind of interested to see a... a, a, a transport hub that's something different. And I like it. You still obviously need to use your guns there, here and there, but at least it's not just, like, constantly spam your weapons. I like it. It is something else. It gets my approval. Uh, so do I die on the spikes? And what if this base disappears? I'll be very sad, but it shouldn't disappear. It shouldn't disappear. So yeah, let's die here. Unless they fixed it. I mean, has anybody tried this trick after this new update? Or am I going to be the first one to try it out? Because one day maybe they're going to patch it up. I have no idea. Whatever, let's die and then we'll be back at the base here. I'm going to die anyways. Boom, we did it. So yeah, we'll spawn back at the base and then we can go and do it. So also, I think that currently Transport Hub is kind of glitched. I'm not sure about it and uh, how it works or not. But I think it resets uh, not every two days, at least as of right now, because I think it's a glitch. I think it resets every two hours, every four hours, every six hours. I don't know when it resets, but it resets. And I think that's why some people said that you lose your items in that transport hub. Some people reported not losing your items, but some people reported that you are going to lose your items there. So let's say if you're about to clear the transport hub when it's about a reset, but you don't know when it's about a reset. It kind of resets randomly right now. So you just go there, you die, and it kind of resets. That's why you lose your items there. So I don't think you're supposed to lose your items in the transport hub. So maybe in the future, past developers will fix it or something. Because I think that's what's going on right now. I think it just resets every hour, every two hours, every six hours. I don't know when it resets. It doesn't work. No, you messed up. Stop it. It still should work. Stars, a uh, transport hub is like a box of chocolate. Okay. Okay. I've never heard to anyone refer to transport hub as like a box of chocolate. I mean, it is probably like a box of chocolate because even the worst chocolate is going to be kind of all right. So same thing with the uh, uh, transport hub. But I mean, you refer to it that sometimes your loot will despawn, sometimes not. But yeah, that's what I think is going on with it. In any case, let's go back here to Bob Grom's base. It's still here. There's a spot to wall trick everything except the second floor darters. And the third juggernauts. The three juggernauts. Yeah. But I mean, again, you don't always have to wall trick everything. It's a movie quote, probably. I'm stealing that quote. Now it's my quote from now on. Didn't know that you can watch the stream in 1080p. What do you mean in 1080p? You can watch it in 1440p. It's not 1080p. I've been thinking on 4K streams, though. I think it's kind of a bit... Excessive though. I think 1440p is kind of enough for now, but we'll see who knows maybe in the future. We'll do uh, 4k 4k last on earth right now and I have the stupid armor, but luckily we can get a new one Hear me out ladies and gentlemen, where is my drone does it teleport back to the base or did I lose my drone completely? My drone isn't here. When you die, your drone teleports back to the base. Because I was curious what happens if you die with the drone in the green forest. It just probably teleports back to the base and that's it. The same thing when you die with your chopper in the forest. It just teleports back to the base. Okay, that's interesting. I hope it teleported back to the base. My drone is gone. But that's fine. Everything good comes to an end, so I have no idea why the drone ended so quickly. Gone, reduced to atoms. Yes. Okay, let's try to open up some more chests. More armor! What is this base? Oh my god, Sayuk! It is a little bit of an oh my god base. More armor! More! More! We need to get that meme. I don't know where is that meme from, but I've heard the more! Is it from Star Wars? Maybe. I don't know. You know the meme, where the guy screams, MORE! More armor. I've never seen that much armor. Uh, we're probably gonna get some hatchets, won't we? 
There we go. Let's get a few of them. That should be kind of enough. It's from Star Wars, baby. It is from Star Wars. It's the guy with the scar screams, more! Scar like scar in the face, not scar, scar gun. Uh, I'm gonna drop these hatchets because I don't think they do more noise, but I don't like them and I don't trust them. That's it. For now, I'll get some more armor. It's not like... Yeah, it's not like I can get a crazy amount of it. But I'll get as much as I can, at least for now. Um, We could take another set of armor and I will absolutely take it. I just... I'm gonna just sort it out real quick so that... I can take it as soon as I need to leave this base. There we go. I'll take one armor and then I'll just add more shoes in front here so... That I'd, I'd rather steal shoes than anything else. That's it. I'll just click, take all, and that's it. That'll be something. So now let's soften up some other chests. I'll add this hatchet over here. There we go. Let's soften up these boxes. Like, kind of, no matter what we get, our inventory is going to be full with armor. Unless we get here first aid kit. So that's why I'm opening up these other chests. Just to see what's up. No! Didn't mean to open it up! No, the big one's gonna spawn! Oh, more guns. Bloody lovely. Psych, take the Winchester! Stop it. Take those words back. The Winchester is hot garbage. Repeat it with me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Winchester is hot garbage. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for the big one to spawn here and then we'll hop back inside and we will start opening up these chests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, more armor. Okay, I can restart the big one there. There we go. No, it just respawned anyways. Okay, so it doesn't restart him. He has to go there. Okay, cool. Now I know. The more we know, the better. Okay, let's get that. It's like leaving thousand grenade launchers, launchers of course. Okay, let's heal up. And uh, I don't think I've opened up this box over here. Nope, not yet. What did we get here? Nothing. What did we get here? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. I'll deal with this guy over here. And then we'll open up the rest of the chest, ladies and gentlemen. So, so far, this is a pretty fun raid. I wish more raids were like that. Seriously, it's fun. Because we can obviously open up more chests. Obviously, the chests are cool. And we can troll the big one here for a bit. I think it is definitely interesting. Also, guys, keep reminding me to pick up uh, aluminum coils... Aluminum wires? Whatever they're called. We need to get them. As they are needed to craft... The... Uh, aluminum... Cables. Probably. What not. Well, you got the point. We need boot. Okay, that dude's gonna attack me. Then I'll just heal up. And, uh... There we go. So let's see what we got. We can heat the... We can drop some hatchets uh, to get another armor. I don't think there's anything else we can kind of take here. I don't think this place had any wires. I think we should be good enough. That's it. Let's skedaddle from this place. I think that's it. Is there anything else that this base has to offer? Have I opened up all the chests here? I'm gonna hop back inside once again. I just want to double, triple check all of these chests. If I've opened up everything. Okay, there's just that stuff. I think we've opened up absolutely everything, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's an amount of tools. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I think we have more than we need. Whatever, let's get out from this base. So this base gets Psyx approval. A pretty fun raid. Really interesting. Let's so get one helmet. We got everything. So this base, yeah, gets my approval. I'd give it like an easy seven, maybe an eight. Very strong seven. It's a great, it's a great base. It is an interesting base indeed. We've got a junkyard. I'm sorry, but we're not going there. We don't need to clear the junkyard. Big dude cannot jump over a small crate. Welcome to Last Center Survival. Same thing in that transport hub. There's a box and you have to go all the way around it as you can't jump over that box, which is kind of interesting. A lot of armor, some weapons, just no heals. It's a, it's a good, it's a good raid. I mean, 
Somebody said sad raid. I mean, it's a good raid. I mean, what else would I want from this raid? It's a, it's a nice raid. You can't always get the same stuff, so I don't mind getting some armor. Like, it's a solid 7. It's a... It's a great raid. Like, very, very good raid. If all raids were like this, then raids would be broken. That's it. If we were getting raids like that all the time, then this game would be broken. That's it. So, it's not a broken raid because we don't always get them. But getting a broken raid once every seven raids, it doesn't make them broken. So, yeah. It's a nice raid. I like it. Before we go to the western tower, there is a big one in the swamp. You need to kill it. Do you really have to kill the big one there? Or it's just... You can escape it. Or do you need to kill the big one there? Maybe you have to kill the big one. I don't know. I don't know if I trust you, though. I don't know if I believe you. Oh, okay, let's drop some of the armor over here. Let's try to pay those raiders because I still haven't paid them. No, it's the swamp big one. Okay. What do you mean, no, it's the swamp big one? What swamp big one? Uh, we need to give the raiders something. Check if the drone is there. I mean, it should be there. If it's not there, I'll be very angry. Disappointed. It is there, ladies and gentlemen. It is there. It is charging. Look at this. It's charging uh, two hours and 49 minutes if I take it off and I put it back. Three hours again, so it starts charging from zero. What kind of a station is that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Doesn't even charge properly. I'm thinking, okay, we gotta pay the raiders. Okay, understandable, have a nice day. Let's give them some of these electronic circuits. I'll probably give one electronic circuit to them and then I'll drop another one in this pickup truck. It needs fast charger, yes indeed. It needs so many things, but it is what it is. Okay, let's drop that electronic circuit over here. So now we have a few things to do, ladies and gentlemen. We either go and clear the transport hub, which we should probably do if it's even reset, but I think it should be reset, right? We can go and clear the transport hub. And yeah, and then we'll go to the settlement. Let's go for it. Oh my god, Tyke, already? Yes. We are already going to that transport hub. I'm going for it, baby. I'm absolutely going for it. Let's get a scar, even though we maybe don't need it. Let's get here a few shotguns. And uh, let's get... Uh, what else can we get here? Some guns, probably. Let's get some of that. Let's get some Genesis weapons. Okay, three Genesis guns is probably more than enough. We can get another one, because for those who didn't know, the, you can kill the miner with Genesis weapons a lot faster than with other weapons. As I think the miner gets 22. Like, from 19 to 22 damage. So that's pretty cool. Dude, I love this button so much. That button is so good. That button is so good. And, uh, okay, let's find some more... More, more other stuff. Please open boxes. What boxes do you mean? What are you talking about? Dude, the blue box. What blue box? What kind of a blue box are you talking about? Tag box open! Guys, speak properly. Use a full sentence. Tag box open blue! Go, go, go! What is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Tag kill zombie box open! Go, go! What does that mean? <laughs> go suburbs. You can't go to the suburbs. I mean, it is kind of there once you unlock it, but you can't go there. Psych, open, open! Like, what open? Calm down, guys. Just breathe. Psych, John, fly! You walk! <laughs> Says the Minecrafter. Go, go, go! Yes, indeed. Last in Earth language. Maybe. I know why I'm taking this drone with me, but let's get it. Take the drone if you're going to the hub. Yes. Yes, indeed. Let's get the drone, ladies and gentlemen, and let's go to the hub. I go hub, you uh, type chat. Go, go, go! Psych, why you not read my message? 
Say go go open blue box go go. Okay. Well, I'll speak your language. I go uh, transport hub. Uh, I go transport hub. I don't go blue box. Blue box later. Now transport hub. I did it. <laughs> Suddenly Russian. I don't know what was that, but that's how I assume people people speak here when they say blue box go go go. That's how I assume they sound like. <laughs> go go kill zom zoms. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for it. <laughs> we are talking the language of the short greenish guy creature in Star Wars, maybe. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is once again reset. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this. But, uh, whatever. Who cares? So, yeah, we can actually clear this place with just basic weapons. As I said, we don't have to bring here insane guns. I didn't bring another armor! But we have some armor there, so it's okay. We have some armor in the inbox. So, we'll get another armor from the inbox. Serious question. If I don't want to raid, is there a way not to get raided? You just answered your question. Just don't raid. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like in Frostborn. If you don't raid, you still get raided or something. You just don't raid here and you're not gonna get raided. So, no worries. If you don't want to raid, you won't get raided. Okay, we've gotten some new armor here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Last on Earth Survival part. It's probably 1,500 part something. Because last time I tried to count how many videos and live streams I got, I think we have over 700 videos and over 700 live, stream live streams. So combined, we have probably a bit over 1,500 videos slash live streams, which is kind of a lot. And I still get comments today, to, till this day. So I like, play more Last on Earth. I mean, I've made 1,500 videos. How many more videos and live streams can I make? Whatever, we've gotten some steel, we've gotten another katana, we've gotten a little bit of glass. I'll take it. I mean, I'll maybe even take glow. Wait, I'll yeet that stuff, and that's what I'll do, ladies and gentlemen. Not the biggest fan of using it, but let's use the VIP storage. In Frostborn, you can lose on your all your money, probably. Uh, I was reading the chat, and in the corner of my eye, I thought that's a zombie, so I started shooting it. A serious question, when you're gonna switch the uh, light colors to pink, uh, to a different color? I don't know when. I mean, I wanted to switch them to pink, but for now they're red. We'll see. Perhaps one day. It's like, play Frostborn. I have played Frostborn already. I'm gonna delete things that we don't need, and then I'll send to the... That stuff to the storage. Because I don't really need to send their garbage, then it gets full and then I can't send anything there. So I uh, get 20k in-game hours in Last Earth Survival. Alright. Do I really need that katana again? I mean, I might as well just use it here for some of the zombies, correct? Can I wall trick some of those schmucks? We will see. You're getting close to 100 million views? Yes! Okay, let's get those schmucks. Okay, all of them are gonna start chasing us. Again, we could wall trick some of them. And I think we can't do it if I hide behind this wall. Okay, now they're desynced. So yeah, you can kind of wall trick them. It does work, ladies and gentlemen. But again, for that, you gotta be really cheap. Like, this place gives enough loot so you can, like, blast your gun here and there. But yeah. Should have just probably sneaked attack that zombie. Would have gotten even more damage. Climb ladder. Go, go, says Ash Ketchum. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Has the guy restored his health? Probably. Probably. 
Okay, we just gotta be careful, and there we go. Usually we're not gonna wall trick like this, I'm just here showing for you uh, how you can do this. Okay, the dude is actually pretty fast. Stop it, sleep, I said. There go, the guy's sleeping. Let's loot the vending machine. Sometimes we can get here some food, so let's get it. Uh, more smashers. And I mean, just rinse and repeat. There'll be lots of them. So... Yeah. Whoa! Got spat on. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Okay, let's try to avoid all of those other spits. Got him. Got him. So yeah, some things are easier to wall trick. Some things are harder to wall trick. But as I said, you can, like, bring this gun here to this place. Right? I mean, if you... By the time you unlock this place, you will have a Glock to spare, so don't worry. I really enjoy the Ancestors, play more of it. We'll see, hopefully there will be more videos on the Ancestors. There will be a second part for sure, because I already have it. But yeah, hopefully there will be more than just two parts, but we'll see. We will absolutely see. For those who haven't seen the Ancestors video yet, the link is in the description, or just go to the channel and check out the latest video. Do be like that. No. Got him. Got this one. Um, um. Oh, how about we use the drone? Wait, we gotta put the drone here in the extra pocket. Sometimes you get different boxes. Once I've gotten here a medical box, now it's a different box. Scan it! Oh no, I've clicked the wrong button. I have clicked the wrong button. You were supposed to click the button down here to scan that stuff. Well, mistakes were made. Okay, so then we'll be able to go here on another side and loot that other part of the transport hub. We will absolutely do this. But now... We gotta go over here. There we go. Let's try to climb down. There will be that spitter. So I kind of want to be ready for it. Let's heal up. So be ready for the spitter. Go towards it. And there we go. We dealt with that acid melter, acid spitter, or whatever that dude was. But we dealt with them. We absolutely dealt with them. There we go. Let's scan another one of these boxes. So wait, does this box give us... Tra uh, settlement items? Probably not. It probably doesn't give us settlement items. There are other boxes that give us settlement items. Okay, so I don't really want to use this drone, but we could... At the same time, let's get that neutralizer here. Um, but that drone is useless. I'd rather get this gun. There we go. Let's get ready, guys. There will be that spitter. So what we need to do is hop inside. We need to deal with this toxic darter. There we go. Okay, the puddle is in a different spot. Sometimes it's different, guys. It's a little bit different layout. You don't always get the same layout here. I think, at least. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, all I have to do is just keep running around and keep damaging them. And little by little, they will die. Dude, they keep healing up! They're gonna deal with one of them. That's it, once one of them dies, it's a lot easier then. Okay, then we gotta deal with this guy. And there we go, now there are only three of them left. There we go, got him! And they sometimes drop us even red tickets. Most of the time I've just gotten green and yellow. But hey, this time we've gotten red ones. Uh, we've gotten here four green. And there is one more zombie over here. And we have gotten more green and yellow. Understandable. Have a nice day. Let's get here a Glock. Let's pop an inhaler. I'll probably get another one. We'll, we'll use it up. What happens after the cargo scan? Once you scan that cargo, later on once you defeat the miner... The boss here, you'll be able to open up that cargo that you've scanned. So the more cargos you scan, the more options you'll have to open up. Right? It's not like you'll get more loot, but you'll have more options. Let's get more copper. What I like about this place is that it gives us lots of copper. Like, it seriously is a nice place for copper. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's seriously a viable place to get copper. Once you unlock this place, you'll be rolling in copper. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think copper is kind of, maybe not toxic, but I don't think it's good to have copper.
close to you. I think it can irritate your skin. Maybe? I'm not sure. Probably. Okay, let's get the drone. Maybe we have some copper experts in the chat. But yeah, from what I know, copper is... Can irritate your skin. Okay, do we have anything here? Nice place for copper. Proceeds to delete battery. We have probably hundreds, if not thousands, of batteries at the base. It's enough. Oh, we've gotten the drone battery for the first time. Alrighty. It's a nice place to get copper. I didn't say it's a nice place to get batteries. Sulfur, we didn't care about that stuff. If we need sulfur, I'll bring it. Okay, that stuff can be sent to the VIP. And uh, that's it. We've opened up three boxes now, I think. We have scanned three boxes, so it's time for us to deal with the miner. Let's go. I'm a copper expert. Yes, indeed. Do we have any more copper experts in the chat? Identify yourselves. If you are a copper expert, let me know. Are you unlocking the forklift? I don't have the things for the forklift. Whatever they're called. Um, the aluminum wires. We need 40 of those things, and I don't have them. We could open that up, right? We could maybe assemble it. We could try to assemble it. We just need 40 aluminum cables. And I think I got the picture of it on the phone. So maybe. Let's try to get 40 of those cables. I don't know if we'll see. Let's just do some math. I'll go to the base, whatever. We'll fight the miner here right now, and then I'll go to the base and uh, to the base and we'll do some math if I have enough of those rubber thingies. If I have enough of those rubber thingies, I will just skip everything. So it depends how much rubber I got. Copper is poisonous, it kills zombies. I don't think it's poisonous. I think it's... I know that it kills germs, right? I think. Uh, yeah, we've opened up everything. Time for us to hop down there. Wait, I've done something wrong. That's not where I was supposed to go. This place is always a maze. I'm an idiot. I am an absolute donut. That's not where we were supposed to go. I apologize. I absolutely apologize. I don't know where I keep running around. And hey, it's also, I haven't mentioned this, but I... Uh, I love this update. I like it. It's really cool. The location is nice. The loot is nice. And I wish we were getting more updates like this. I don't know why we don't always get updates like that. It's, it's a really decent update. It's really good. Developers can still make updates like this. And if we were getting more updates like that, the world would be a better place. That's all I have to say, right? As everybody knows that Last on Earth is the best game of all time, and the 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 reason to live is just to play Last on Earth, right? The meaning of life is Last on Earth, so if we were getting up this like this, we would achieve world peace. That's it. I said it. Oh, we can't we don't have to go through this thing, but for some reason I'm an idiot. Why do I always think that I need to go through here? To get here, but we can just go through there that way. What am I doing even here? I don't know. Somewhat of a donut for sure. This is awesome that the zombie is giving us an alpha card. Imagine unlocking this transport hub without having a bunker alpha yet. They will be adding suburbs soon, says Diabolical. Yes. Okay, so apparently this thing is already down here. I'm gonna whip out. I don't need to whip out my drone. It is kind of seriously goop. I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gents. My armor is about to break. Didn't really mean to whip out this unmodded block, but I, I did it. Okay, this unmodded block slaps. It's fast. It's good. I like it. Soon means in two years. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, guys. Don't pay attention that it says soon. We've had Bunker Charlie. I mean, Bunker Charlie never said that it's coming soon, but also we have... Uh, 
Okay, this it says coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. It's been coming soon for over a year now, so... I mean, not really coming soon for over a year, but we've been waiting for this Act 3 for a while now, for a few good months, half a year maybe? I don't know, so don't worry about it. Coming soon means nothing. Maybe it'll come out. I don't know, maybe it's gonna come out soon. What do I know? Sleep. Wait, we've gotten here some notes. We don't always get notes here. This time I have gotten some notes and what do they say here? We can't stay here any longer. Creatures from the containers left us completely terrified. Fortunately, he has come and he suggests we go to New Eden. He says it's paradise. Isn't New Eden something related to that, to the suburbs location? So that's interesting. That is interesting. Very interesting. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely ready to fight the boss. Let's get the guns and uh, let's get the right soundtrack, right? Because we are about to fight the boss. I don't know where, where we can find it. There we go, we found it. We found the boss, guys. If I had to fight the boss here like this without the wall trick, I'll try to get him without the wall trick here right now. Maybe I should have gotten a reanimator here. Would have been better. Okay, at least the boss doesn't heal up, right? But we have to heal up here a lot. And it does a lot of damage. Whatever, let's go back to wall tricking. Let's go back to what we know. Right? Let's go back to what we're good at. Wall tricking and hiding. And being sneaky. gonna shred that boss. We're just gonna destroy it. He won't stand a chance. And check this out, now we're doing 22 damage if we get here, for example, an M16, right? With an M16, we're doing 5 damage, 5 to 8 damage. But, let's go back to our guns here. And you'll see that soon he's gonna increase his defense. Uh, let's get full health here. Oh no, I got stunned. Unbelievable. I really want to know how much damage we get from these other special attacks. I think one day with the reanimator we'll need to test that stuff out. Like here, when he does like that huge attack, do you die instantly or do you survive? Like nobody knows. I don't know. So now check this out, we're doing only 19 damage from 22, we're doing only 19. And with an M16, what we're doing from five to eight. Now with this M16, we are doing from, we're just doing about three damage from three to six. So from five to eight, we're doing now from three to six. Yeah, I think you need to have here Genesis weapons for the miner, as you are wasting those other basic weapons, probably. You survived the hit? Okay, so that's cool. But yeah, having Genesis weapons here is definitely worth it. It'll help you out to deal with this boss a lot faster. And uh, you're not going to waste as many basic weapons. Can you try a cheap, cheaper version of Katana? Okay, let's see how much damage we can do with the Katana. Nine damage, whoa. I mean, it's gonna take you forever. Let me tell you that, sir. But it is absolutely doable. I mean, with fists, perhaps? Triple question mark? Can we wall trick this guy with fists? We do two damage. So yeah, if you are a peasant, you can deal with this miner with fists, but it's gonna take quite forever. Let's be real here. Katana 9 is good. Yeah, it's decent, but you can't do lots of shots. Uh. 
Okay, we avoided that. Okay, then we just need one more attack. And uh, let's get it. I'll finish this dude off with fists. Because that's what we do. Okay, just one more attack, ladies and gentlemen. And I completely annihilated him. Completely just destroyed that boss. Smash like, smash subscribe for more boss destruction content. And uh, we are gonna get this cargo terminal key. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a thing to do right now. I'll go to the base. I mean, first of all, I'm gonna loot these crates first, right? I'll see what we can get here. But then I'll go to the base and uh, I'll count how many aluminum wires we got, aluminum cables, and if I can't unlock that forklift. Here we've gotten a gas cylinder for our ATV. Ooh, pretty decent. Pretty kind of bloody lovely. Triple question mark. It's like, did you check casting bench in the settlement? You can craft copper billets casting bench, uh, maybe. No, I haven't checked it yet. Sometimes these crates are empty, but sometimes there is something. Wait, there's a frozen crate. Excuse me. There's a bloody frozen crate. There's a bloody frozen crate. I've never seen this crate before. And food! Have you ever seen getting 19 canned food or 20 bottles of water? That is actually ridiculous. Kefir has definitely outdone themselves. I, this place gets my approval, like absolutely. It is awesome. If they're not gonna change here the miner, because it already takes like a few weapons, like, right? If they're not gonna change the miner, then this place is gonna be like after Bunker Alpha, like seriously. It'll be like the second best place, like for sure. Which again, like only 19 cans of food, like it's not that much when you think about it, but we, we never get that amount of loot anywhere. So it's kind of nice to see stuff like that. 26 bottles, mate. Oh, 26, not even six. That That's insane, like that's, that's mwah. 10 out of 10 base, <laughs> but it's not a base. It's a container. In any case, it's a good, it's a good location. Even when they fix miner, I think we can find ways to deal with it, but then you'll require lots of healing items and then this place diminishes in value very, very quickly. But yeah, so far I've really liked this place. It's, it's nice. That's what I expect when developers add new locations. That's what I want to see. So developers can add good loot to the game. This is good. Obviously, you have to work for this loot. I'm not saying that it's easy. Like, by the time you unlock this place, like, it's it's crazy. It's not easy to unlock this place. By no means, but it is doable. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open this up. So, check this out. We can insert this crate here. The cargo terminal card. Uh, and then we have to click on it again here. Then we can authorize, and we have here... We have a few crates to open up. We can open up this uh, armor crate. We can open up the cargo crate, CYF crates. These are mwah, good crates. Maybe even today we'll unlock the suburbs then. So yeah, if you're nice, we will unlock the suburbs. Please open the BPD crate. BPD crate, this is a ARM crate. I don't know if we have a BPD crate. Maybe here we'll get a BPD crate, but this crate is great. Uh, this is how they look like at the very bottom, guys. So yeah, this crate is pretty good. It gives settlement resources, so I'll open it up. Uh, the third crate is kind of may I don't want it like it's probably good, but I don't want it I need the settlement resources actually it all depends like that's what's cool about this place It's giving you lots of other crates and I'm sure that this crate is gonna be good as well Like if you want to get doggo treats you can get it So if you want to get this cool fishing rod, you can probably get it right you have a chance to get it So it all depends On On what you want like, some people might just want to get guns and C4s here and, like, ghillie armor and other stuff. Like, for example, I don't need it here right now. I want uh, settlement resources, and I can get the settlement resources. Those people that don't need settlement resources, they have options to get other loot. That's what's unique about this place, and that's what's good. Uh, Razvan says, it's not good. It's not just what you see here. You get different loot. Like, it just says what kind of loot you can get. It, when it says here that you can get... Uh, this motorcycle jacket or that you can get this ghillie jacket doesn't mean that you'll get just one ghillie jacket You'll get the entire armor. I'm not saying that it's that you'll get just the jacket. You get more loot there 
and the loot is most of the time worth it. Like, that crate is gonna give us lots of loot. But yeah, we gotta go back to the base. Hopefully this place does not reset. If it resets, then I'll be a little bit angry. Forklift loot mine when we unlock the forklift. Right now, I'm trying to go back to the base if this place does not reset. Reviving settlement? Reviving settlement? What? I mean, still, they have kind of ruined the expeditions, though. Right? They have made some things worse, but they have also given us some nice things, and that's what I'm talking about, right? It's like kind of a... Pay-to-win-ish update, right? You can buy lots of things. You can just buy your way to the sport hub location. Which is cool, I guess, right? But... You can also get here yourself manually. And you have content. And you can play here. And you can enjoy the game. That's what I'm talking about. I don't mind pay-to-win stuff when you have content. When you can actually play the game. But sometimes we just get pay-to-win updates and that's it. There's nothing else to do. Like, you can't enjoy the update unless you buy something. But here we can enjoy the update and those that want to pay, they can still pay. And it's cool. That's how I think updates kind of should be done in this kind of style. It's one of the better updates that we've gotten, actually, seriously. I'm not even kidding. Probably the best update that we've ever had was the Bunker Bravo update with the ATV. This might be like top three update. I don't, I don't really know from the top of my head, but I'm sure we had like some other great updates, but we got, we have uh, some other cool stuff. We can't gotta pay to get ATV first. You can't get the ATV first. You don't need the ATV to unlock that place. You don't need the ATV. You need ATV only to assemble all of the watchtower things. And I still haven't done them myself here and you can still go to the port. You need to clear the laboratory 10 times or five times, depending on how many floors you clear there. Okay, so let's try to sort out our inventory and let's see how many wires we got and other stuff. So you don't need the ATV to unlock that location. Some people have spread misinformation, I know that. On Discord, like, sometimes I join there and people are like, Oh, you need ATV to access this new, new location. And uh, I also believe that you need an ATV to access that new location, but you don't. So some people like to spread panic and misinformation. But I'm telling you guys, you don't need the ATV for that new place. You need to clear the laboratory a few times, though. But it is what it is. Okay, we still need the drone, though, so let's keep that drone with us. Best update in my heart is still with the old mercenaries. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, the mercenary update was pretty cool. And I'm not saying that this is the best update we've ever gotten, but it's definitely a great update. Like, it's my probably top three updates. As of right now, it's probably the second best update that we've had. After the ATV. So, yeah. Maybe once I remember some other updates, I'll move this update a little bit lower. But it's so far probably second best update that we've had. It's just nice. It's just a fun location with fun loot. Can't ask for anything else. Um, We've gotten here only two copper bars and two steel bars. Sometimes we get more copper. Sometimes we get seven copper or something. But hey, getting four copper is decent. All right. You need to clear fully a laboratory four times. A1, A2, B1, and B2. As a person with limited amount of guns, that's really hard, says C not. Yes, but I mean, you're playing last and earth survival. I mean, literally... That's what you do. You gotta clear the same place many times. And uh, you need to get 10 of those thingies. So my probably suggestion is 10 controllers or whatever they're called. Yeah, you need to get these 10 flight controllers. So probably what I would do is just clearing A1 and A2 floor and that's it. As these two floors are the cheapest floors. And for clearing A1 and A2 floor, you get uh, one flight controller. So you just gotta do it 10 times. You gotta clear the A1 and A2 floor 10 times and that's it. You'll probably save... A lot of guns by not clearing the B1 and B2 floor. Probably. Because I think the A1 and A2 floors are a lot cheaper than B1 and B2 floors. So probably that's what I would do. It's still obviously expensive-ish, but compared to the... Other things that we have in Last Dinner Survival, it's relatively cheap. Like, it's cheaper to unlock that location than assembling a boat, right? 
they could have added like a new vehicle to the game and that new vehicle would unlock this location except that new vehicle is kind of a drone like you can think of it as a new vehicle right you need to assemble a vehicle to unlock that place and from all the vehicles that we have in the game this drone vehicle is the cheapest it's cheap a bunk the the chopper is cheaper actually there's chopper then we have the drone then your boat and then the atv so it's the second cheapest vehicle in the game which is pretty cool i guess it's the second cheapest because there's no way that boat is cheaper. Which I get it, the drone is not a vehicle, but you get the point. It might have been a new vehicle, right? It might have been a helicopter, and the helicopter might have unlocked as that port location, which would be probably cool. Uh, sorry guys that I take quite a while to sort out the inventory, but it is what it is. Right? It is what it is. Let's drop that over here, and now... Let's see what we got. We need 40 of these aluminum wires, so we already have one. <laughs> we need 39 more! Oh, wow, we only got 16 of these uh, aluminum wires, and that's it? I know, the cheapest ve vehicles are your legs. Okay. Are there cheapest vehicles, though? You need to feed yourself every day. You need to drink water every day. So, are they really cheap? Still probably cheaper than... than a car. Uh... Let's get some aluminum. And let's go quickly to the settlement. Will there be more Planet of Cyric? It's really fun. You mean the Planet of Apes? AKA Ancestors become human. Ancestors, the humankind odyssey. Soon-ish. We got more... Of that stuff and that is it ladies and gentlemen we don't have anything else excuse me sir we could progress here in these expeditions just a little bit to get some more of these aluminum cables right so maybe we won't be able to assemble the forklift today we could actually get plenty of cables uh, for aluminum uh, wiring in the port laboratory maybe so yeah, I don't have anything else. I only have one of these aluminum cables. Maybe I have some hoses in the inbox already. Please leave some of them. Zero! An absolute round zero. Yikes. That's all I have to say. What about the resources? It's probably zero as well here. Yeah, we don't have any more uh, rubber. Okay, we've gotten five. Okay, so we got six and plus we got ten of those. So we need what? Two prior. Uh, we need two rubber parts per one aluminum cable. Yikes. So we need 68. Uh, rubber hoses. So we need three stacks. Almost four stacks of rubber hoses. Three stacks and eight rubber hoses. We don't have that amount. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't have enough aluminum wire. So even if I skip everything, I still won't have enough, uh, enough of that stuff. So I think skipping doesn't really make sense today. Unless we do some expeditions. But, I mean, that crate is waiting to be opened. We have to go and open up that crate. Rubber hoses drop in the port laboratory. That's also true. We could clear the laboratory for that, but it is a little bit expensive. Still, in any case, we have a good crate there to open up. I don't really know if the fourth crate would be any better, but that crate is fine. Also, when you open up the fourth crate with the... When you assemble that forklift, do you get a guaranteed good crate? Or it just increases... Or you just get another fourth random crate? Do you know what I mean? Because it looks like you keep getting random crates. 
So the fourth crate just increases your odds of getting another good crate. It doesn't mean that you'll get like some sort of a unique awesome crate, right? Right? So you don't necessarily have to assemble that fourth is random. Yeah, it's just random. It doesn't mean that you'll get anything better. So we don't necessarily have to unlock it. Skedaddle uh, back there and let's open up that cargo crate. Fourth crate is drone upgrades and Genesis weapon crate. But is there really this? Isn't it random? You get new drone items. Okay, so it's something else. You don't get like random military guns there. You don't get guns and backpack and like armor. You get some drone items in that fourth crate. The random in the crates is said is on said bath. Wait, what? The random is the crates is on said bath. Uh, third crate is variety of guns like the BPD crate. Second is always mechanical or settlement. Okay, fourth drops, Genesis weapons and armor. All right. All right. So yeah, I think we're just gonna guys open up the second crate over here as I need to get settlement resources. So let's open it up. I am gonna unload it. We don't have the fourth crate today, so I can't really open it up yet unless this thing resets in about two hours or something and then we can do it again maybe we'll see and then people will get it in any case let's unload that stuff ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen we have gotten another crate and let's see what this second crate has to offer for us we have gotten three iron rods and i've gotten six so we have nine i've gotten uh, six last time and here i've gotten only three so we have nine iron rods so we are this close to unlocking the suburbs even though we can't go to those suburbs but yeah you can also get here ash planks which is pretty cool so what kind of awesome items i have gotten here besides the iron rods we've gotten copper billets which probably don't matter that much we have gotten these iron sheets i want to get the resources that i still don't have i don't have these chipboards Sturdy frames. We can get sturdy frames. I don't have these iron pipes, which are pretty, probably really good. Asbestos are all right. Ash planks don't matter. Um. Yeah. So yeah, the top, the top resources. That's what we get here that's kind of unique and I can't get right now myself even if I wanted to. So I appreciate these resources. Whatever's on the bottom is all right, but I like these top resources because I don't have them. And it's for now, at least for me, it's the only way for me to get these resources. So it is what it is. You need copper bars for one, for crafting one copper billet. Alrighty. Alrighty, so this place was kind of cool. I liked it. I wish we've gotten more of these uh, iron rods, but it's fine. It's fine. This play, this crate is still good. Like I'm getting resources that I don't have that I can't obtain, so... I mean, what? Am I gonna complain about it? Oh, I still haven't looted this this room. Bruh, and I don't have guns. We have to come back and clear this room. But I kind of don't want to come back. Stupid hammer. Uh, let's get some guns real quick from the inbox. So hopefully, there'll be enough scars. We're gonna clear that place with scars. Hell yeah! Let's go. A sniper, a silencer on the scar. You gotta be kidding me. What's the time in France right now? 5 p.m.? Yes, it's 5.04 p.m. If you repair the station, you have to fight the big one and I'm being serious. It's fine, I'll just escape that big one and I won't fight it. Unless you have to kill it to complete the task or something. I mean, we'll do it then. We didn't really need two C4s. Be 
these stupid toxic darters. But yeah, we don't really need two scars here. We just needed one. As uh, so the rest of the zombies need Genesis weapons, but that's all right. Another mod here that we already have. 5 or 4 p.m. I said 5. 5.04. 5.04. 504. It sounded like 5 or 4. No, I meant 5.04. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's loot this box over here. Mm, I'll get these cogwheels. I don't really know if I want to take them, but they seem maybe they'll be important one day. So I will get that goop. I didn't mean to go there. I didn't mean to do this. But I did it. Okay, escape that. That's good. That is good. You missed the chest? Oh, no, no. We will go get that chest, guys. No worries about the chest. There we go. Let's open up this box over here. Uh, this... I might get these air filters. Don't know if I want them, but... Let's get them! You missed 50 grenade launchers. It's fine. I left them for later. Okay, we gotta be careful with this acid melter. We got him. Got all of them. Die once, so then this location is going to reset. I don't think it resets when you die once. As I said, currently this place is uh, probably kind of glitched or something. It resets randomly. Maybe it resets every hour, maybe every two hours, maybe every five hours or something. So it looks like when you die, if you die in those intervals, it will reset. And it look like it resets just because you died, but I think it, di it resets randomly. But I think they'll fix it in the future, and it'll reset only every 24 hours. Wait, have I opened up everything? I don't even know what I've done here. Okay, let's open this one up. I need to get that loot. I want it. I know what to delete. Nothing. There we go. That's better. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else here. There's a chest up here, but we've already opened that stuff up, so it's good. That's it. Let's get that up. Delete the scar. It's it's a full durability scar. In Star Stamp video, it reset it. Maybe, maybe, as I said, it does reset, probably. But we don't know why it resets. Maybe it resets every two hours and it looks like when you die, it looks like it resets just because of that. Or maybe no. The hub resets if you log out and come in fresh, says David K. Thanks for the super chat. Thank the you, thank you, David K. If you log out and come in fresh. Uh, David K, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Maybe does that. I just want to see. The hour has passed. So yeah, thanks, mate, for the support in the channel. Thank you. Maybe it also works like that. I have no idea. Again, hopefully it resets now. Again, even if it resets, I don't really want to abuse it as... Yeah. We play fair and square here. Right? Okay, so it's still not reset. I don't know when it resets. In any case, it resets in about an hour here for, for us anyways. Um, 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 okay, so let's go back to the base. Let's drop all of this loot. Abuse the heck out of it. If that's how it works, I can't really abuse it and show it, as then I'll have FBI knocking at my door saying, Sark, take down the video. So I can't do it.
Probably, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't want to risk it. It's like, if you want to reset it, you need to delete two scars. Um, all right. If that's all I have to do, then sure. I'll eat those two scars. Because there's no tomorrow. Risk it for the biscuit. I mean, it's, is it really worth it? Is that biscuit really worth it? Heck yeah, of course it's worth it. New monkey videos. You mean the ancestors? Yes, there will be more monkey videos. <laughs> monkey videos. <laughs> yes, there will be more monkey videos. came here just to sort out the inventory here real quick. Uh, let's drop it here and the rest of it goes here. Wait, I have these uh, two sturdy frames. Excuse me, and that stuff doesn't fit. Oh, I don't have these sturdy frames then. I haven't unlocked them yet. Bruh. Okay, so we need to build another one of these pallets. All right. Storehouse, another pallet, we can drop it over here, but for that we need 10 planks and nails. So let's try to get them. Transport hub with the boss is harder than Bunker Alpha 4th floor. What are the poll res uh, what are these poll results? If you can still keep wall tricking the miner, is it really harder than the 4th floor? I mean, it is probably harder than the fourth floor, right? Nobody, like, says that, oh, it's, like, so much easier, but... What we're trying to say here is that it's a reasonable location. Um, thinking. I came here for a reason. What was that reason? To get these things. There we go. The people's palettes. Yes. What kind of biscuit are we talking about? With chocolate chip biscuits. The worst thing is when you buy, you think you're buying a chocolate chip biscuit and you bought a raisin biscuit instead. Those biscuits should be illegal. Like seriously, they, they shouldn't be allowed to be sold. Like that's it. Okay, then we need to drop some of those other things back to the base and Mark Cocotte. I'm sorry that I'm butchering your name. I feel bad. Mark Cocotte. Marco Cot, I think it sounds normal. Marco Cot, uh, IRL uh, only need one flight controller to make drone. Perhaps I don't know much about drones. I don't have a drone. Never had a drone. But perhaps, perhaps. We also need ten ATV transmissions. Do we really need ten transmissions? Is it one transmission enough? But yeah, we also need like uh, ten engine parts, ten engines. I mean, this is just an engine part, but yeah. Whatever. It doesn't count. Okay, let's drop that here. Um, We need to drop... Now, this loot somewhere. Yes, I'm a drone pilot. Maybe. Congratulations. You see, you can see the cursor. I can actually remove the cursor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the only reason why I kept the cursor is... Check this out, guys. You no longer see the cursor here. I can move stuff around, but you won't see the cursor here. But yeah, the reason why I keep the cursor is so that... Uh, it's easier to show things. Like, I can show, hey, guys, look here, and you'll see where I'm showing. Instead of being, hey, guys, look here, and you have no clue where I'm showing. It's easier to, to show things with the mouse. So that's the reason why we have this mouse here. Oatmeal raisin cookies are deceptive and disappointing, exactly. I once bought, in my entire life, I once bought cookies and they were raisin cookies instead of chocolate chip cookies. And I don't like raisins and chocolate in cookies. 
So I was very disappointed. Anyway, well, sorry, just read. Shut your mouth. All right. When I'm talking, you stay quiet. Don't tell me to read. When I'm buying things, the last thing I'll do is read. Okay? So don't tell me what to do. Nothing fits! Where do I keep this cement? It's stupid! Is transport hub worth it? Yes. Reading is for peasants, yes. I mean, even if I wanted to read, I can't read. Do you think if I could read, I'd be playing Last and Earth Survival? Just think about it. It's like, but I play Last and Earth Survival. When was the last time that you've read a book? Just think about it. Do you think you know how to read? Everyone that plays Last and Earth Survival, everyone who plays Last and Earth Survival probably doesn't know how to read. And I'm not saying it out of malice, I'm just saying it, it's true. Because I don't know how to read. Uh, so yeah, I think it's time for us to go and progress in the settlement, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. Let's go. I English do good. Thank you much, says DA. You see? RTFM, what does it even mean? I don't even know what it means. But doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open up a few boxes here, right? Once again, before anybody asked these, uh, the, the boxes came from the developers. Like once a month, being a partner or something, a few times a month, you can request developers to send you loot. And I usually request uh, coins and C4s to do raids, right? That's it. I don't really request anything else as... I like grinding, and I didn't plan to request anything for the settlement. As you saw yourself for the first, like, half a year when settlement came out, I was behind everybody as I didn't plan to request anything. I didn't plan to ask anything. I just wanted to grind here peacefully because I enjoy grind. But they released the transport hub, and everybody's gotten that transport hub. So I don't want to be behind. So we have to progress. And now we can open up a few of these boxes. We also have here a decent amount of these mercenary tags or something. So let's open some of these boxes. We can open up 10 boxes at the same time. Let's open up 10 of these boxes at the same time. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, we've got a Rachel's contract. I'd rather probably get nothing. Can we buy more boxes? Here we can buy 50 boxes, brother. How did we get that many? I mean, I've been logging in daily to, to also collect these things. That's a good enough. We got 70 of these boxes. Bruh. Brothers and sisters. We can open up 70 of these mercenary crates. Didn't even expect that we'll have that many. Well, we are going to progress, ladies and gentlemen. We have unlocked Karma. Eh, Karma. <laughs> we have unlocked Karma level 2. We have also locked this new mercenary. Chris, is Chris any good, ladies and gentlemen? Is Chris any good? I don't know. We've gotten some other rewards. We have unlocked another Liberty here, which we don't really need. Nothing here. And then we'll open up the last 10 crates one by one. We have gotten this Maverick contract. We still don't have the new mercenary, whatever her name is. Sadly, I don't remember. Um, Can we even get her? Chris is Chris. Maybe. But yeah, we've gotten this dude over here. Is he any good? I have no idea. Gas strip. But yeah, I want... I don't want Karma. I want uh, Naomi and Dash. I want this thing. Is it any good? Can't get it. Also, we could maybe get Godfrey. Godfrey looks kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth it or not, though. Uh, whatever. Let's open up 10 more crates one by one. There we go, ladies and gents. Let's savor these last 10 crates. On. Give me that new mercenary. Just do it. Just do it. Just absolutely do it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Disappointed. Disgusted. Um... Well, I guess we're going to upgrade Karma because no matter what, she's probably one of the best mercenaries in the game. 
So we should upgrade Karma. Right, I wanted to get her. Oh, we also need these gifted stripes, just as Karma. Okay, so let's increase uh, her rank a little bit. Boom. We can level her up many, many times, right? Plus one level, plus two levels. So yeah, we can definitely upgrade her only a few times. I thought we can upgrade her more. Uh, We could upgrade Connor. Hmm. Lemmy Maverick. I don't even know, man. We could also increase this dude's uh, level. So I'm just thinking. Seriously. We've gotten Chris. We could level up Chris, guys. Is it worth it to level up Chris to level 20? But I'll just waste these gifted stripes and other stripes, right? I'd rather save them for something useful. Like, it's better to just upgrade Karma. Like, she's pretty good. Tap it and hold it to increase it by 10. Okay, so we can level up Karma a bit. Oh, and then we have these universal universal stripes. But if I'm dumping all of those points into Karma. She's at level 27. There we go. That is a strong, strong mercenary. We absolutely need to do it. Level up Connor and Karma. Okay, we just have Connor uh, levels here. Let's give 64 of these quick, quick jaw stripes to Connor. Let's go for it. Oh, he can only get to level 30 and that's it? Bruh. Connor's at level 30 and I can't level him up more because I don't have... Oh, I don't have another contract. Okay. We could upgrade... Lemmy Maverick. That's it. I could upgrade Karma just a little bit more, right? By using 21 of these things. We could level her up. Absolutely. To level 30. Or we could also start upgrading Lemmy Maverick. What other mercenaries do I use? I use this guy. We also have Tucker, but I can't really... Oh, I can't upgrade Tucker. Oh, I can't upgrade it because we don't have another one of these things. So we have to upgrade Lemmy Maverick, I guess. Lemmy's pretty cool. Whatever, let's upgrade it. Oh, that's it. It's going to be on max level. Whoa. That's it. Lemmy's level 30. And, uh... Karma can get probably to level 30 as well. There we go. There's nothing else that we kind of need to upgrade. Let's go for it, ladies and gents. Focus on Russ, Chris, and Connor. Focus on Chris. Excuse me. Okay, we can't upgrade this minivan anyways because we need these aluminum cables and that's going to take us forever to get them. There are other things where I'd like to use those aluminum cables first. Uh, let's assemble the squad. Let's auto squad. And let's just go for it. I mean, here we'll be able to progress like definitely quite a lot here in these expeditions now. Tucker has the turret, I think, maybe. Maybe. So yeah, this dude won't even be able to put his turret because of these sandbags. We should have maybe put him in front and then he can put that turret thing. But yeah, we will get them. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, they have so much health and so much gear score that nothing really matters. Like, we will just obliterate all of them. Look at this, there's like something lasting here. I don't even know what is that thing. There's like a spread shot or something on these zombies. Oh wow, we almost died here during the first wave. Unbelievable, kinda. When you think about it. Okay, we're gonna heal up a little bit. It wasn't a perfect mercenary, as this guy can't place that uh, turret here. But that's all right. Maybe I should have put him in front. He doesn't have lots of health. Oh, I kind of overheated my turret. That is all right. Okay, Connor died. 
but I still find we still have two strong mercenaries here. There we go. Finally, I can drop that dirt. Now the turret can do here a decent amount of damage. And once again, I accidentally overheated the turret. Your character doesn't have any gear score weak as the wall. I mean, my character is on the minivan, so... He does have some gear score. I think he has the most gear score of all of them, actually. Wait, am I actually gonna fail this wave? With 6,000 gear score... I think I've almost beaten it last- There's another way. What's going on here? I'm actually confused. I actually don't understand what's going on. I'm actually confused. I don't understand. Wait, the more gear score you have, the stronger they get. I kind of don't understand it. I really don't get it. Last time I almost beat them. Like, last time I've done this wave with a lot weaker mercenary with the same combo and I've almost beaten it. So, it is a little bit interesting. I don't get it. I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. Let's auto squad. Let's maybe use Tucker instead of uh, Maverick. Right, let's use this guy here and let's use... Maybe let's switch them. How much health does uh, Maverick have? 1,900. Maybe let's put this guy in front. But he'll just get shredded at first sight. I don't get it. Upon receiving damage, builds up speed and power. Uh, mercenaries with high attack speed are not best choice against it. What are you even talking about? Like, what kind? Do you think I have 66 mercenaries here? Lemmy and Karma are garbage characters. They're good. What do you mean, garbage characters? Uh, I'll try to place. Whatever, let's just switch some things up. I'll place here Connor, and here I'll place Lemmy. Which kind of doesn't make much sense. Let's try to go with this combo. Replace Karma with what? Poor choice of squad use Chris. I don't have Chris. He's level one. Even with hundreds of dollars worth of crates here that I got from the devs, it's still not enough to upgrade all of the mercenaries. I accidentally wasted the healing thing. Not my fault. Maybe it is my fault. Okay, the guy's gonna die. He has thousand something health and the dude's just gonna die like that. At the very, very beginning. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Some people say Chris is great. Some people say Chris sucks. He's uh, AOE. Hits the frontline guy, maybe. Now, that's not going to be enough. We should just probably restart this thing again. Well, let's get out of here. Maybe Karma is bad because she does... She shoots them kind of often, and the more you shoot them, the more damage they do. So maybe for this exact wave, Karma is kind of useless. We should get rid of Karma. Maybe. I think Karma is actually the, the bottleneck here. So how about we... Oops. Go over here, and let's auto-squad here. Let's put this dude, and instead of Karma, let's add Tucker here. Okay. Sadly, can't level up Tucker anymore, but I wish we could. It is what it is. They say just upgrade Chris. I don't have points to upgrade that dude. So maybe for this wave, because I think she does lots of damage. She shoots really fast, and all of these other guys shoot kind of slower. Unless this guy is also fast. Because he has a scar. Unless he does like... Okay... Oh, I should have started using the turret. Somewhat of a donut. Okay, 
Okay, let's use that. Okay, let's do the turret. I think for this wave, you have to do the full turret attack instead of just shooting every second that you can, as this way you'll heal up or do whatever more. Whatever's their debuff. Okay. Maybe it is a little bit better. It goes a bit better. I have no idea. Get that schmuck. There we go. We killed it. Except now they can't heal. Karma would have healed them. Nah, there's no way we'll deal with these guys. Impossible. There we go, Connor is gone. Look at this, another wave. Okay, soon they'll destroy that stuff. Okay, let's drop the turret. That's it, we got destroyed here as well. Yikes. What is the point of the transport hub if you have to pretty much finish the game to access it? You don't have to pretty much finish the game to access it. You just need to clear the laboratory a few times, so you don't really have to finish it. You can actually do it pretty early. Like, pretty early. I'm not saying a level 20, but you have to kind of play the game for a while to access it. Same thing, why do you need ATV? Because ATV is the end game thing, and you need to play this game for a year to get the ATV. What's the point of the ATV? Um, but what do we have? We got Chris. We could upgrade him like how much to level 10 only, and that's it. Um, even with all of these upgraded mercenaries with 6,000 gear score, we can't do it. You gotta level up Tucker. That is actually ridiculous. Whatever, let's go to the destroyed station. Let's auto squad and let's just run with it. Let's see how it goes. I can't believe it. This is kind of goop. It is absolutely goop. It is goop indeed. The dude's already dead. They already killed him. And I overheated the turret. That's it, Sayak. You're gonna lose because you overheated the turret. Yes, guys. Just because of the turret. And once again, I overheated the stupid turret. What's going on with me? We should use a special attack when the zombie's about to die, because when he kills that zombie with his special attack, and I'm talking about Connor here, you do get some buffs. It's kind of hard to time it. Like, here, will it work? There we go, we got it. Look at this, he doesn't have more damage. Oh, she's dead. Wow. Whoa. I mean, we could maybe do this thing, maybe, doubt it. Okay. Okay, we somehow, somebody did this. We barely did this wave. Barely. Unbelievable. I actually thought that with upgrading all of these mercenaries, we'll be able to... <laughs> progress a lot. But yeah, they have made settlement a lot harder, so we don't really know what it's like where we would have been before. 
Because they have made the settlement harder now. So, yeah. It's said that you still need, like, the same amount of gear score, but you absolutely need more. Okay, how about we go here and uh, I try to auto squad again. Okay, this guy only stays in the toxic bottle. Reduces mercenaries attack speed by 10% and movement speed by 25%. Okay. And then we got here another threat. I didn't even get to read what that threat is about, but whatever. You won when the guy died in the starting. It's not the first time I've won before when that guy dies at the very beginning. I mean, they just all spit at him. Like, no matter how much health they have, they just die. Like, these mercenaries are upgraded, right? At level 30. And, uh... I still don't feel a lot of difference... ...with these mercenaries. Like, I can't focus on these... ...guys that... ...are at the front that have less health. Oh wow, there's a miner. Whoa. Okay, we dealt with the miner. Yeah, as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the expeditions. That's probably the lamest part from the entire game, to be honest. Maybe even worse than the Sector 7, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, it's like, but Sector 7 is absolute trash! Probably Sector 7 is more interesting than this thing. Well, we did this. Like, how can it be that the previous wave, we barely won and here we won kind of easily? Like, it's not supposed to be like that, does it? Right? Isn't it? You got the point. It shouldn't be like that. Like when some waves are barely done and another waves are easily done and I get it, you can like switch mercenaries, blah blah blah, because they're standing in the puddle, but it's kind of stupid. Okay, let's drop that thing. Let's start healing all of them up. Okay, the time is going down for some reason. So we need to finish this wave in time now. They've also added a timer. Why would they add a timer here? I don't get it. Pay attention to buffs and debuffs. The puddle won't affect Connor because he is uh, melee. Wait, what? Thirty-nine seconds. Okay, we've gotten some attack buff. That's good. Drop that turret, idiot. Go and start using the turret. I overheated the turret. Okay, heal him up! Heal up Connor just a little bit! That's it, we did it. We have cleared another wave here, which is kind of cool. Easy win. Use Connor and Rachel for the perk. Connor and Rachel. What is the perk? Do they have perks here? Maybe there are also some sort of perks. And again, I'm not saying that, wow, this settlement like doesn't have any strategy. It's stupid. Like, there are still lots of things that I don't know about, like, these expeditions. But, yeah. Okay, what's the squad perk? If I auto-squad, what is the... There are no squad perks here. What is the thread here? Upon taking AoE damage, releases gas that deals damage to mercenaries. Upon taking AoE damage... Flip. Damages 1% of mercenaries' health every 5 seconds. Blocks health restoration from using abilities. It reduces the mercenaries' attack speed by 10% and movement speed by 25%. Okay. We need now 8k gear score. Like, you gotta be kidding me, I've just... We've upgraded these mercenaries like crazy here, with like God knows how many things. And what, I've done two waves, and that's enough? Now we need more gear score. Like, the expeditions are so good. I 
And there are no squad parks. Use somebody else for a park. But we ain't got no parks. My team is Stalker, Karma, and Connor. They work wonders in all three locations. Just make sure you upgrade them with contracts. Stalker, Karma, and Connor. I mean, we could. I can't upgrade Connor. He's at level 20, so I can't really upgrade Connor anymore. Let's go for another wave. Let's see what's going to happen. Squad affinities, affinities matching patches. Think of who uses the patch. The upgrade of the same squad. What? When you have Connor and Rachel, you have a chance to have auto cooldown on their skills. Okay, they don't even know that. Drop that turret, mate. We almost overheated that thing. I could use the special ability, but I'm saving it up. I'm saving it up so that I could get the buff to my damage. There you go. Perhaps now will that be enough? There we go, we got buffed to damage, as you can see, there's that green thing. <sighs> oh no, overheated the turret, it's fine, doesn't matter, would have lost here probably anyways. Is that the last wave? Is there one more wave though? Oh no, there's one more wave. Oof. Just got absolutely destroyed. Annihilated. If you want to have heal spam from Karma, get Connor and Rachel. Whoa, they say upgrade rest. We've got like so many different tips and tricks here. That that's great, but honestly, I didn't learn anything. Like people gave lots of different tips and tricks. I can probably mention all of them. People told me to upgrade Tucker. People told me to upgrade Chris. They said to upgrade Rust, to upgrade Karma, to match mercenaries together. And what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I have no idea. Try Rachel and Connor. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try that out. Uh, Rachel and Connor. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's add Rachel. I mean, she only has like 150 gear score. But that's basically nothing. Well, let's go for Rachel. Upgrade Liberty! There we go, another tip and trick. Okay, let's try to do this wave then. I didn't mean to heal up right now, doesn't matter. Okay, she's almost already dead. Rachel. I don't really know if I have here any buffs, though. Maybe it is better just because we matched those mercenaries, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, almost overheated the third. Okay, she's dead. Great. I mean, I can't kill them. They keep healing up by 88. Maybe I shouldn't even use my turret here. And there is one more wave of zombies. 
Like, we shouldn't even stay here because there's still one more wave of zombies. It's not gonna help us out. Like, I can't even kill them. There's just too many of them. I can't do it. I can't do it. Rachel on specialist. What? Excuse me, sir. Oh, we can put Rachel here. Still can't put Rachel here either. Before we could have used Rachel as specialist. But now we can't do it. Wait, if I go back here. And instead of this dude, I get Rachel. Okay, so we get perks here. When the active skill is being used, there's a 20% chance it will cool down instantly. Okay, and what about I use Rust here right now? Oh no, this is not the right guy. Liberty? No, not Liberty. Who uses these things? These special stripes. Chris, perhaps? Nope. Nope. Do we have a third guy that uses these quick draw stripes? It's not Lemmy. It's not Karma. It's not Rust. It ain't Cre it ain't Chris. And it ain't this dude. Oh, there's only Connor and Rachel that have both of those things. Okay. Uh what about instead of Lemmy, let's say we add Chris here. Okay, we got both of these things. The duration of the active skill cooldown. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to go there. Well, we're going. Well, we're going for it. There's nothing you can do, Psycho, on how he can be the zombies healing. Uh, you need to do less attacks. When mercenaries do lots of attacks, like, doo, 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 they get, they heal up more. So you need mercenaries that... That do whatever. Okay, that was pretty stupid. That attack was probably pretty stupid. As with this thing, they all probably heal up even faster. So this attack is horrible. Like they all start becoming, they started healing faster. We need to get mercenaries that almost do no damage. That do lots of damage uh, slower. I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, we'll get destroyed here anyways. Connor uh, died on the first wave. Yeah, we're gonna get destroyed here anyways. It's pointless to progress. This is the opposite of progression, yes. Why well, Kefrit made it super hard? We can't use specific characters. Why are they sick at the time or something? Yeah, there's also that timer. Rachel as specialist. You can't use Rachel as specialist anymore. Like, that's it. Look at the specialist. I can only add Tucker and Jack of all trades. You can't add Rachel anymore, even on the second one. Rachel is no longer a specialist. They have removed Rachel from being the specialist. She's no longer the specialist. She's useless. She's useless. Hmm. I don't even know what to do, ladies and gents. We've just upgraded these mercenaries so much and there's nothing we can do with them anyways. I don't know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to say about expeditions. I didn't like them before. I don't like them now. We could upgrade Jack of all trades, though. But it's like, the dude is probably useless. We can't really upgrade Rust that much. 
Yeah, the only mercenary that we could upgrade a lot is Jack of all trades. That's it. Sadly, can't upgrade this guy because we don't have the contracts here anymore. Unless we can get him here right now. Because we have gotten some of these thingies. And nothing. Upgrade yourself. I can't upgrade the minivan. I've upgraded the minivan already twice. Quite recently. And I think I've progressed only one wave there. And to progress to upgrade it again, I need 20 of those aluminum cables. I'd rather use all those aluminum cables on something else. Jack of all trades is, is a tank like Connor. Yikes. I mean, we could upgrade Jack of all trades. Jack instead of Connor. What do you mean Jack instead of Connor? Jack is very good. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of Connor. There's no way I'll get rid of Connor. I mean, I can upgrade Jack of all trades. How many things do I need to upgrade him? Okay, he'll only get to level 20 though. Because, oh, I have another one. But I could level him up to level 20. <laughs> but it's just wasting these things. I'd rather upgrade Tucker once we get Tucker, but I can't upgrade Tucker because we don't have it. Say so do it. I mean, let's just do it. Silly. Everything is silly, ladies and gentlemen. Jack is whack. Probably Jack is whack, but hey, I have upgraded him. <laughs> Jack is tank! A level 20 dude has 1,600 health! <laughs> Jack is tank. Alright, boomer. Okay, let's upgrade this dude. And let's upgrade him even more. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Jag the whack. Let's go. Dude is at level 30. He doesn't have 5k health. You guys said that the Jack on level 30 has 5k health. Jack on level 30 has 5,000 health. I literally have it here right now. You are caught in 5k here. Tank! What are you talking about? Here, check this out. Here. Boom. Uh, Jack on level 30 have 5k health, guys. Look at this. This dude. I caught him in 5k. And the guy doesn't have 5k health. He only has 4,300 health. So I was lied, bamboozled. Used and abused. Okay. Five K with contract, probably. What do I mean, five K with contract? He is at level thirty already. Instead of Lemmy Maverick, how about we get this guy? How on earth is Lemmy? Uh, Lemmy Maverick has more score than us. Lemmy Maverick has twenty three hundred score. Why is he? Why does he have so much score here? Excuse me, sir. Uh, how much health does Connor have? Uh, almost 6k and 180 armor. Uh. Uh. 320. Should we put this guy in front? Maybe we should put then this guy in front of Connor. Uh, we'll see. Let's go over like this. We'll see how it works. He needs a gym contract. Yes. Is progressing in the settlement worth it? I don't know. It's It feels very, very weird. Like, the progression in the settlement is very broken. Like, you need to have all of the mercenaries to upgrade them. As a free-to-play player, you're not going to be able to upgrade them all. It's like, you can't do it. Like, obviously, you get... I mean, from calculations that we've done, you get like $3 worth of items here every day, at least. $3 worth of mercenary tags every day. So this guy is bad because he shoots pretty fast, so all of these zombies... ...heal up faster, so it's not good. Connor's almost dead. Because they just heal up back to full. The schmuck stop healing up! Uh, 
Okay. Unbelievable. There we go. Let's drop the wall. I've never used that wall before. Let's say the wall got destroyed in seconds. What was the point of that wall? We got destroyed, ladies and gentlemen, once again. I can tell you that. Put Jack in front. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like, take melee weapon squad, that'll work efficiently. I'm telling you, you need to have, like, all of the mercenaries here. It is crazy. I can't deal with them. They, they, they don't die, because the stupid guy keeps shooting every three seconds. I can't get them. I can't kill none of them. That's it. I overheated the turret. That's it. This guy's gonna now heal up fully again. And they will destroy her. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's... It is goopy. At least with the expeditions, you don't lose anything except dignity and mental health. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay, wait. I need to see Rust. What does Rust do? Rust is melee guy as well. I mean, I only have six of these stripes. I'm not going to be able to level them up properly. This goes to level 9, and this thing will go to level 2, like, what, I'll be level 11 or something. Useless. Useless. I mean, this guy shoots kind of fast, right? Health, damage, and armor. They don't even say how fast the dude shoots. Excuse me. This jack of all trades is maybe... Trash. Wait, how about I get this guy here, and I will put uh, Connor here, and in front I'll drop Jack of all trades, which seems like a stupid idea. But let's go for it. Level up Rachel. I mean, I've gotten all the... You guys named all the mercenaries. There was no common thread in the chat. All of you told me, like, basically to level up all of the mercenaries. That's it. That's all I understood today. Again, overheated the turret. That's not good. But it is what it is. Again, overheated the stupid turret! Unbelievable. That's it, the, the wall just got destroyed. Have a chance of there's no more waves, but I think there's one more wave though. There's 
<laughs> There's one more wave! Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be one more wave? Okay, she'll get destroyed, yeah. Of course there's one more wave. I don't know, man, what can I tell you about these expeditions? I don't know. I know, it's pretty trash. It's like, as I said, I've gotten lots of tips and tricks from you guys, which is, that's great. But as I said, there's no common thread about it. Just like, upgrade your mercenaries. Like, yeah. Again, we've just upgraded them. I have no idea how much we... How much was it? How much those contracts were worth here? We've upgraded those mercenaries a lot. I thought like we will... I honestly thought it will reach like almost max here. I thought at least we'd maybe reach level 35 here. Like we just moved one level in this... No, we didn't even move a level in this ghost town. We moved only a level or two here and that's it. Which now we need here to have... Uh, a 8800 gear score, which is just ridiculous. It jumped from 5k to 8k just in a snap of a finger. And... Uh, yeah, in Ghost Town, we have enough gear score, but we can't beat it. For that, we need to have here a melee squad instead of the gun squad. So instead of Karma, we should have here Rust. And instead of Lemon Maverick, we should have here Liberty. And, uh, yeah. Again, when you have more mercenaries, you have more strategies. But again, like, that's ridiculous. The amount of mercenaries that you need to unlock is just seriously ridiculous. Oh, she has a gun! I thought she had. Well, what is this thing? Okay, the dude's already dead. So now they'll just destroy Connor, of course. just died so this combo was horrible I mean it's pointless to go any further they'll die here as well <laughs> try to upgrade rust for a little bit and try this one again Bro, upgrade the melee squad first, then use it. As I said many times already, you need to upgrade all of these mercenaries. Like, all of them. All of them have to be at level 30 to progress further. That's it. You know how much you need... How much that's gonna cost? Insane. Amount. That's it. Is Rust even melee? The dude's probably melee. I mean, I could level up this guy. Why wouldn't I? Doesn't really matter. But yeah, no matter what we do here, as I said, there are probably some sort of strategies for it. You just need to have all the mercenaries and you have to upgrade all of them. And then for each wave, you get the right mercenaries and then it'll work. Because if you use the wrong mer mercen uh, mercenaries, even with stronger mercenaries, you can't beat it. Okay, instead of Karma, then we're gonna get, uh, whatever the dude's name is. Rust. Right, let's use Rust. There goes squad perk. When damage is taken, the damage of all the mercenaries increases by 0.1%. It accumulates for up to 25 times. 2.5% on the maximum level. Alright, very useful tip and trick. Upgrade Godfrey to max. Yes. Focus on Rachel and Connor. You reach take 10k score. Sure. Oh, that dude is already almost dead! What's the point of Rust? They just annihilated my boy. They just destroyed him. Okay, but hey, this way was kind of decent. Check this out. A lot of them are already almost dead. Usually on the first wave, I already lose Connor. So maybe we have a chance here. I doubt it, though. I mean, I'll try to upgrade Rachel. One of these mercenaries definitely has to work here.
But yeah, but these five head commons are really great. So I just upgrade your settlement. Just upgrade the mercenaries. Thank you. Okay, let's use that. Well, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. There's still one more wave and whatnot. <sighs> See, I like the whatever that place is called that we've unlocked. The, 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 the transport hub. But yeah, not the hugest fan of the expeditions. And yeah, okay, let's try to level her up. Only a level 11 for 52 of these tags. Oh, she's at level 18 now. Okay, cool. That's great. Okay, let's try to use Rachel then. She has only five, 400 and something health. That's not going to be enough to deal with them. That won't be enough. Let's try to get uh, her instead of Karma. And let's try to get this Jack schmuck instead of the other guys. Say it is what it is. Oh no, I forgot that this dude shoots. I didn't mean the jack of all trades schmuck. It's not the guy that I meant to get there. Focus on the minivan psych, it's worth it. Yes. Rachel and uh, Rust. That's what I wanted to get here. Jack in front will protect Rachel. You also said the Jack will have 5k health, but he doesn't. You're just saying random things until something sticks at the wall. Don't stop it. Okay, Rachel will get destroyed here very soon, probably. She's not dead already. And now that zombie's gonna heal up. Just die, schmuck! Okay, we dealt with that zombie. And there's still like 16 more waves left. <laughs> There's hanging noodles on your ears. It do be like that. I upgraded Jack of all trades for absolutely no reason. Thought that dude is good, it's just goop. Connor is better. I upgraded a bunch of mercenaries and it still didn't do anything. Okay, now Rachel, they're good. They'll just destroy her. Well, in any case, I'll leave this thing before she dies there. Yikes. Take Karma, Connor, and Rust. We've already tried that combo. We've tried like basically every combo here. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be wrapping it up. We've already tried all of these those combos. If you have any other combos, make sure guys to check them out yourself. Because as I said, I've gotten every possible combo today in the chat known to man. And uh, we've tried most of them and it doesn't really matter. So yeah, we'll be wrapping it up guys. As I said, the settlement is kind of goop here. You need to have, as I said, there is probably some sort of strategy to it, but You need to have all of the mercenaries here. Like, absolutely, you need to have all of these mercenaries here. 
And uh, yeah, it's not enough. I think they reopened like what? Almost 100 of these mercenary crates and it still wasn't enough. Like over $100 worth of things. And it still wasn't worth it. So as I said, the expeditions are kind of trash. But the, I still like the new update. I like the, whatever it's called, the, 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 the transport station. But this thing is kind of trash. So that's it. I'll be wrapping it up. Thanks for joining, ladies and gents. And see you tomorrow with another video. And yeah, as I said, maybe there's a way to deal with them, but you have to have upgraded all of those mercenaries and good luck upgrading all of them. So, see you later. Use the auto squad and you'll win. I've already tried a few times. Just Even with the auto squad, we don't win. So yeah, take care, ladies and gents. Uh, no touching grass. We touched grass in those expeditions, right? Tomorrow, monkey. Maybe tomorrow there will be another Ancestors Become Human video. So if you haven't seen the newest Ancestors Become Human video, make sure to check it out. And see you later, everybody. See you tomorrow. And, uh, oh, bloody lovely. Our transport hub is reset. I'll probably just go there to reset the timer so that we can go there again later. And that's it. So there we go. Let's just start the timer. And then we will uh, wrap it up, everybody. I mean, I'll be wrapping, uh, I'll wrap it up. I'll just reset it. You don't really need to see how we reset that location. There we go, already the timer has started. Live tomorrow, I don't know, maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe after tomorrow. Uh, can't promise anything. As we never know. Use Jack, we already used it. We've used all the mercenaries guys that you told me today. So yeah, take care. Peace out. I just wanted to start this timer. There we go. Now we can go back to the base. And now finally we can say proper goodbye, guys. Take care. And see you later. See you tomorrow. And see you later, everybody. Take care.